Hi, this is how to print a file to two printers. So for example, we've got a file here what's got 100 pages. So I want to print first 50 pages to printer A and then next 50 to printer B. So to do this, first of all, I need to set the printer for printer A. Now I'm going to create a file to do this so I can do it automatically. So I'm going to printer setup. So for example, this is going to be my printer A. So I'm going to create a file called Xerxbook Yes, dot printer. So that one's done. And and then I'm going to send the printer B to a different printer. Uh, I'll send it to this one here. So it's totally different. And this tells the program to switch the printer. For example, if I now drag and drop that and then put in that file, and then next printer, and then that file again, what it will do is set the printer, print 100 pages, set the printer, print 100 pages, but I want it to just print 50. So what I do is right mouse on the PDF, set internal options, so I'm going to do 1 to 50, and then I'm going to do it on the next one. So I'm going to do page 51 to 1, 2, 3, 4, which is just the end. Okay, so now click print. So it sets the first printer, and you'll see it send 50 pages to that printer, and then it will send 50 pages to the next printer. Like so. So that's how you do that. To automate it, what you do is you use the replication. So you highlight the files. So hold down control key and left mouse click on each one. Action. Set file for replication. Okay, yes. Now you can save this setup for direct monitor. Save settings as my rep. I'm going to put it in this folder here. Okay. So what you do is normally, if you just want to do it on a batch list, you do action, set file for replication, yes. Then select what files you want. So say if there's two files in here. Then it will pick up, click OK. So as you can see now, it's going to set the printer, print the copy, set the next printer, print the next 50 pages. If I scroll across, you can actually see the internal parameters for a number of pages there, what have been set. And then it goes on to the next file and does the same. So now I can run that. So you can see now it's finished and you've got the copy and the original one there, the first 50, and then you've got the next one from 51 to onwards. Now to do it in monitor, so you can do it on any file coming in, if you go into extra options, is a use replication setup file in here. So you can then browse to that. And save and exit, update. And it will apply it to any PDF that comes in. It doesn't matter what printer is set here because it's always going to pick it up from the file, the actual replication file itself. You can actually look at it in Notepad and see how it works. So you can see that it's got um, the, the four files in there. It's got the printer set up and then the file going in and the first 50 pages and then the rest of the pages on the other printer. And that's how it works. Give it a try.